Hey there everyone, this is Nick As, and we have completed various sections of the starting model landing page. Right, we have completed a uh, navbar, the zero section, including the cards, and section one, section two, and the footer. Right, so we are left with this uh, courses section, the testimonials, newsletter, and yeah, that's all. So we are left with three sections. So the section which we're gonna work today is kinda you know it's not that complex but it has some uh sort of like it has got many elements to use right we got some icons over here like many icons like and some position absolute stuffs and a button another icon so yeah so let's see how we can uh, solve this sort of approach right so let's head towards our vs code let me show you the current build mm, yeah so this was our current build yeah yeah we have completed three sections four sections I mean yeah so let's copy this down and let's paste it here so this is our current build and let's see how we can uh, create this sort of section let's go let me just um, lapse this down just below this create a comment and call it section uh, or maybe I can um, call it something else maybe um, it's not a slider or swiper or carousel it's just normal for sort of it's sort of a card right yeah sort of a card component um okay let's keep it like this uh, let's create a div over here again the container wrapper container class right the parent dev we'll call it section 3 and uh, yeah that's it so this uh, section is currently divided into two parts first one is the headings and all headings and a description and then we got four cards over here right so we're create a we're gonna create a class for each not for each for every card over here right so like the class would be a common class for each card over here right so let's get started so this div is for the video and live section this uh, title and heading right so maybe I can call it part one right so courses this is a small heading basically this could be of h5 I guess or maybe h6 right so we got courses over here right courses and we got H1 heading, video and live section, live, action I mean, not section, <laughs> my bad, yeah, and we got a paragraph, alright, let me just copy this down, there we go, cool, so, uh, let me just check the build, yeah, that's the current build, yeah, perfect. So <clears throat> Okay, so we need to apply some break over here. Or maybe I can give width to it. Or is this two lines give it a break tag? Uh BR tag after between, right? Cool. 
got it now it's time for part two now the div let's give it an id of part two and let's create a class right first of all let's do one thing let's create a skeleton for it just the structure so this is div one for the first card right so it has got some image uh, 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 uh. let me just get this image That's the image, right? Maybe I can export all the images together. Uh, this one, not this one, I mean, I guess. Damn. One and that's two, that's three, and that's four. Cool. Now I can export them. Export four layers. Got it. Product cover, this one, and this one. Cool. So was the name of this folder uh community community this one right extract all yeah let me just copy them and paste it let's create a new folder in the assets folder section section three i'm gonna paste them here okay why maybe i should drag them Cool, so I can uh, rename them to image one, image img2, img3, <clears throat> img4. Cool. So, yeah. Okay. We are here, right? Um, let's get one of the images, IMG, source, assets, section 3, IMG1, let's see what is exactly IMG1, that's not IMG1, that's IMG3, so, okay, let's do one thing, let's call this IMG1. No worries at all. Okay, so the um, dimensions basically um, they are two thirty eight and three hundred, right? Let me try the design dimensions first. Okay, two thirty eight pixels height is three hundred pixels, right? That's default. Right, so maybe I should go with the defaults. Right, or maybe I could shrink them a bit. What do you guys say? What do you guys say? Um, let's do one thing. Let's shrink it a bit. Maybe 90%. Oops, not working. Let's keep it 200 pixels. 150. Um, maybe 190, yeah, this looks fine, 190 looks fine, looks fine to me. Oh, let's do one thing, let's keep them to default, right, 
So one, two, three, and four over here. So maybe I should get some sort of gap as well. Okay, let me just replicate this two, three, four times. Image two, image three, image four. Right, and I need to give a uh, flex to part two. Right, so over here, section three, hashtag part two, display flex. Cool, and I can justify content space between them. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So it's totally become opposite, no? Like the in the design, it's starting from this image, and in our build, uh, start, it's starting from the last, right? Or not from the last, but this image at the last, something like that. Let's keep it uh, random, right? No worries at all. Okay, so. We got the images and now we let's work with uh, the sale feature right the sale sort of tag we got some shadows also behind this rectangle right okay um what we can do to accomplish this we can create a new div over here or yeah let's call it a div and we can write sale over here right <clears throat> sale and now towards your CSS and let's follow the hierarchy let's say um part two div and div I'm gonna call this I'm gonna give it an ID sale right so that it becomes easier for us to get to this sale ID um yeah now okay let me show you guys that this is somewhere here right the sale is somewhere here so okay also let me just copy this down sale sale and sale or let's give it a class of sale not because you know this is uh, we are replicating this right so let's give it a class because I don't know if ID would work for it because ID is something you know unique it has to be unique for each div right so that's why i'm taking let's let's try with sale first right just the id let's try it with the id whether it would work or not right if not we'll switch to class okay so we have the sale just below the image right in each card so what we're going what we're gonna do when we're gonna use position absolute to see guys it's not working it's not at all working maybe background color would work what exactly the color of this background sale um danger color we have the danger color property danger color not there um detach yeah this hashtag it's working so position absolute why isn't it working position absolute um come on what if i replace it with glass Class, 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 and rather hashtag. Let's put a dot. Oh, oh, not here, not here, not here, but here. 
Um, right. It the it, it's basically not. I don't know why it is happening. Uh, let me just border this down. Two pixels solid red. I mean, let's keep it green. Okay. So, in order to. Um, what if I get this outside the div? Yeah, it's working now. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do one thing, guys. Uh, what if I wrap it again inside some another div? Would it work? Still doesn't work. Um, let's do one thing then. Uh, let's keep it outside the div, right? Outside the div. Right. What? What, 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 what? Come on, man. Shit. Part two. We are the other sale tags. Um... Where are they going? The position absolute isn't working for each card. I don't know what's happening over here. Hashtag part two, then sale. <clears throat> Dot sale. Why isn't it working? Um. But if I replace them with an ID, um, <clears throat> okay, I see, I see, I see. You know what's happening over here? <laughs> Basically, all the sale has been overlapped to each other here, like on this image, right? So maybe that's the issue. So. Staying to plan A again, right? Yeah, this one. Got it. So, yeah, that's our final approach. So, what we can do here is in order to <clears throat> get it above the image. We can um, give width and height to this sale tag, right? So maybe I can um, give width what two hundred pixels. Okay, was well, 238, right? I guess 238. Yeah, 238. And I could give the height of 300 pixels. It's still coming below the image. Why is it coming below the image? Even if I give the position absolute. Come on. Um. What if I give position relative? To the part two, not working. <clears throat> okay, guys, uh, we got a problem over here now. Position absolutely not working. Why isn't it working? Sale, sale, sale.
What if we give display flex to this div? Okay, cool. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> okay, guys. The thing is, basically, I don't know what's happening exactly over here, but uh, if you give flex to the parent element, it would overlap the image, right? So. Yeah, it works something like this. Maybe I should remove this width and hide. And what I can do here is uh, section three and the div, right? So it would target all the, I mean, say part two first, and then the divs. So it's gonna uh, target all the parent divs of each card. Right and here, we can apply display flex in order to get the sale overlap the images right so it works something like this so make sure if uh, some sort of problem like this occurs then make sure to you know give flex to the um, parent element or the parent div right of those uh, elements so yeah we are here now we need to give some padding left and padding top right so let's get here and padding left is gonna be you can even use the padding zero zero four zeros right now um left could be is gonna give me the left padding or Oops, 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 not here, not here, not here. But the parent dev is gonna work with the parent dev. Okay, guys, my bad, my bad. Not padding, but margins. Right, maybe margin left would work. Or like this, just as we did in padding. Uh, 10 pixels cool so let's make it 50 pixels or 20 pixels right and uh, now the top one right is it the top one no uh, what do you want this or the left right so is it the left one no it's not the left one this yeah, this is the left one. Cool. So also we can give some sort of padding uh, left and right. This uh, sail button right. We got some padding. So I'm gonna give um, padding twenty pixels zeros twenty pixels zero. Oops. Top and bottom. Sorry. Sometimes I really don't remember exactly what's the top, what's the bottom, and what's left and right. So apologies for that. Okay. So 20 pixels, kind of too much. Okay. So this is left, then top, <clears throat> bottom, right. Left, top, bottom, right so crazy okay 10 pixels uh 10 pixels kind of work it's fine 10 pixels kind of fine okay so one more thing you gotta do is color it's gonna be white right and maybe the font weight has to be uh seven hundred right got it font weight is seven hundred sale and the font size is green pixels okay let me remove the border as well 
and need to give some sort of one pixel one pixel bad not margins but padding one pixel up one pixel down okay let's keep it three pixels cool and it's kind of not at the center so for that display flex and align items center is it in the center the sale yeah it kinda is what if I remove the display flex and align item center it still is okay okay I'll I'll leave it like this right so okay we do have border radius some sort of border radius as well uh three pixels and we got box shadow I'm gonna just copy this down i'm gonna paste it here cool that looks pretty much accurate okay okay we're done with the sale tag and let's work with these icons right so for that what we're gonna do is um just below this div i'm gonna create a new div right let's call them uh let's give them a class of uh, no, icons right yeah got the icons and um what else we okay so for the icons let's just uh head towards google fonts google symbols i mean material symbols and icons right this one so um you want this heart, right? Heart. It's favorite. Okay. Let me just copy this uh, CDN. And let's copy them here. One CDN, one for the CDN, and other for the card and a view. Right. And another one is gonna be what an eye. Yeah, visibility. Okay, cool. Now I can <clears throat> uh okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's called the visibility and it was favorite over there. Obviously, favorite. Um, okay, for favorite we have favorite. Cool. So, yeah, we have uh, we have some uh, uh, background color, white background color, and border radius to hundred percent. Right. Okay. Let's get it done. So. Uh, we are here icons class and I can call it I right class of what icons no 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 not here not here but uh well Let's do one thing. Let's uh, okay. Let's make it like this only. No, 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 no. Maybe I need to give the class. I need to give the class for yeah. This material symbols outlined, right? Okay, that's all. So favorite. We got favorite. Let's just copy this down three times. 
favorite and another one is the card last one is visibility right visibility visibility right cool so okay card one is not working okay it's shopping guard not guard not bad got it so shopping cart okay again these have to be position absolute right so <clears throat> uh, getting here section 3 and then we got the class of the icons right and we're gonna position absolute them right here and also the icons we don't need them in green color but black right so colors gonna be black right also we got some what border two pixels solid this is just for the reference I mean to uh, you know get the backgrounds done background color needs to be white and border radius needs to be 100% and some sort of padding of 2 pixels maybe yeah also in order to align at the center the icons align item center not working seriously um <clears throat> maybe justify content center not working guys I don't know why it doesn't it work every time um okay so we got the icons and now we can basically um not border let me just remove this border first of the icons right like this yeah padding needs to be five pixels like this okay cool and another thing is what I need to do here I need to give the border two pixels earlier right now I need to create a you know basically a path a track to this absolute element right so that I can adjust using flex and justify content right so what it's 300 pixels how much the width no 238 yeah 238 is the width of the image and height is gonna be 300 pixels so oops something just maybe I need to give the width put them as well width and height let's go in 10 pixels Right, sorry. Uh, twenty-seven. Yeah, twenty-seven is fine. Now I can give display flex, justify icon in center, align items center as well. Cool. So this was the problem. Okay. Now as we have the with dimension set now we can adjust the content throughout the dimensions right across the dimensions I mean so what I can do here is I can apply display flex justify content center first right and align items at the end cool and from here I can apply some sort of margin or maybe I can reduce the height let's call it um, 250 pixels it has to be somewhere 
or maybe 280. Yeah. 275 works fine. Yeah. I'll keep 275 and also I want to give the gap of 10 pixels for them. Yeah. 10 pixels fine. Now I can remove the spotter. Okay, so this looks cool. Or what's the size of the icons? Oh, uh, okay, we can't see the. Okay, it's a bit 2020. 20, okay, so font size would be 20 pixels, right? Icons, maybe I can keep the font size to 20 pixels. Is is it by default? But if I call it 20 pixels, no. 20 pixels is default. No, it's not default. Okay. So, 20 pixels, fine. And, um, with font weight, it's fine. Font weight is fine, I guess. Okay, now what I can do here is I can replicate these days. This icons class and copy it here, here, and here. Cool, that looks great. Right, so we have accomplished this task. Image one, now we can come towards our you know text content below the image, right? So um yeah, just maybe just before this dev, we can create an another dev here maybe. Yeah, so we call it. Give it a class of um maybe I don't know, description. Something like that. Let's call it desk description, right? So this description includes export instruction, books library, lifetime access, books library. Um every client matters. Prodable packages, watch our courses, our popular courses. Okay, we got some at six heading. And H5 heading, then paragraph, and then I dial download icon, 15 sales, paragraph. Yeah, we're gonna keep it in P tags or maybe just in a div or span. I don't know. And we got uh, the price, then a button, right? <coughs> also, we got reviews, the ratings, right? So 4.9, 4.9, 4.9. Okay. Cool. Let's get started. So I'm gonna call it let's call it content right or maybe text content yeah here I'm gonna use h6 for export instruction export instruction right yeah Got the at six and then h5 every line matters i don't know what are these are these the headings or these images or I don't know. every client matters cool so below this h5 we have a paragraph we can copy this down oops right I'll show you how we can, uh, you know, convert the uh, convert a text with a large number of characters into this dot dot dot, which is uh, the one we have here, right? Using JavaScript, right? So yeah, currently we are just uh, using HTML, CSS, so it's kind of not possible here. So yeah, paragraph, and then we got <coughs> what an image? Sorry, an icon of downloads. Set so towards our Google symbols and uh, 
downloads tool this one let's copy this cdn paste it here and download yeah um below the speed tag what we can do here is um we can open a new span right and inside the span we open an icon glass material symbols outlined and here we can write download inside span we can write 15 oops 15 sales right okay cool and uh, we have the pricing price for price we can use p tag let's call it i don't know dollar 50 right so maybe 16.4 what 16.48 and 6.48 maybe 16.48 is the mrp and the selling price the actual price is 6.48 so we'll keep it like that only so for that let me just wrap this inside our span um, two paragraphs right so one's gonna be for fifty dollars and fifty dollars is the mrp and twenty dollars could be the um the price selling price right okay so below this span we got a button a new div not div but a button we have right um we learn more and a symbol right so we have used this kind of symbol somewhere with approachable or available packages right <laughs> so it's kind of in the section one code right so learn more arrow yeah i'm gonna get this uh let me just copy this styling uh, not the styling but the code uh, 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 yeah here cool hit save and let's check okay so it's kinda in the flex right so what we're gonna do here is the text content uh okay guys here's a here's a thing that currently we are giving um uh, 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 uh. let me just cut, cut this down and part to these are the tags okay let's do one thing guys uh, rather than giving flex to part two no 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 okay okay i got it i got it um this part two is basically flexed right so this text content is being treated as another image right so for that what we can do here is uh We can mm, just a sec, guys. <clears throat> um, let's take this diff. Where's part two? This part two, right? It's flexed. Mm no this div is flexed basically this div right so what i can do here is 
maybe I can wrap this div. I mean, these elements inside a new div. Right. Got it. And <clears throat> I can give it a class of image content. Right. And rather uh, giving flex to this div. What I can do here is I can get this image content class and give flex to it. Cool. That's all. So it kind of worked. Anyway, let me just copy this down um, up to here, right? Yeah. So let me just copy this down. And what we can re replicate then we paste and paste over here paste over here cool this looks fine but now our images are kind of similar so for that image one where's the image one yeah here's image one and image two there's our image two image three image four cool this looks nice um yeah also what we can do here is um rose is kind of messy over here text content right export instruction um focus on organize uh what ergonomics what's ergonomics um yeah 15 sales okay let me let me just fix this one right or okay let's let's start with the styling right and it's kind of you know after ergonomics we have a break right we have a br tag Cool, this looks fine. Now maybe I could replicate this. Oh, uh, so it's fine. Let's copy this down. Right. Um, okay, it's kind of not working like this. Let's copy this. Paste it here and after what ergonomics right after ergonomics I'm gonna give a PR tag and I'm gonna replace them to all cool it looks fine now now I can uh, give the styling right so also it has to be kind of in the center right? it's kind of left aligned uh, not left aligned, but uh, content is starting, starting from the start of the flex. Though we have not given the flex for this text content. Anyway, so let's head towards our CSS and um, section three dot section three dot text content right. The class text content. So it six the. Uh, oops, wait a minute. Yeah, H6, right? So H6 has to be color this. Yeah. And every client matters. Also, okay, we got the ratings. We didn't use the, we didn't put on the ratings, right? Um, so for that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Sale. Yeah. Every client matters. Yeah. After every client matters. No. 
export instruction after this we need to provide a rating icon so I'm gonna keep it to span right span and then what star this one let's copy this and paste it here now let's get this done um right here right icon class gonna be this what star star yeah star cool we got a star over here and this span um we got the star not outline but you know I want it to be filled mm, don't we have a filled star half stars rating okay guys it's kind of half you know so what we can do here is is it possible to color it good point fill zero right so maybe with this i can do something okay let's let's keep it this way for now right um span yeah so at six let's copy this oops yeah now the now comes the span right span and the icon no first the span i'm gonna give display flex do it is it working yeah it worked and align items center cool um also for open nine for not here but here yeah 4.9 rating maybe i should give a p-die over here Come on, is it's kind of not aligned correctly? Damn, four point nine. Um, also, what's the font size for this star? Sixteen pixels. Okay, so it's kind of you know becomes tough to. You know, um, to use the external CSS over inline CSS. Sometimes inline uh, styling is kind of, you know, it makes your task easier. Okay, anyway, so color, I'm gonna give, what's the color for this star? It's kind of gold. Cool. So color is damn. It's kind of taking this as well. So span. Maybe I should follow the hierarchy. Um, text content and then span. And then we got this the icon. Anyway um 4.9 also we have some sort of background color this one uh, 
um till this span right so section three text content span okay let, let me just give this span an id because it's kind of conflicting let's give this an id of uh what rating ID but class <clears throat> yeah class of rating now i can probably get this done rating Oops. rating 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 cool now i can give the background color what was the background color it's damn <laughs> not like this the rating uh, okay not this not here not here um come on man it's, it sometimes becomes so gross you know so messy it kind of becomes frustrating sometimes anyway glass rating and okay. um so let's keep it span right and <clears throat> uh, background color uh, uh, rating icon yeah that's all that's fine but it still this okay okay yeah that's fine that's fine um <clears throat> what else we got some border radius 20 pixels border radius okay Also, the icon font size needs to be 16 pixels. Cool. And what's the font size for 4.9? 12 pixels. <laughs> Damn. Um, I, how have I written? Okay, P tag, right? Damn, it's kind of becoming so, you know, complex over here. What's the color? It's white. 12 pixels. What? No, no, no. This has to be 16 pixels and this has to be 12 pixels. Okay. And where's the color gone? Come on, what am I doing? 16, and this needed to be 12. Okay, so. <clears throat> um, why it's kind of taking batting? Um. So one thing display flex right and gap first align item center justify icon in center nothing's happening let's give gap 10 pixels now maybe I could give align item center come on Okay, it's not at all responsive though okay in order to make this responsive what I can do here is uh, part 2 section 3 right maybe I can section 3 part 2 
I'm gonna give Flakes Rob Rap over here. Cool, it's responsive now. Alright. <clears throat> so this 4.9 is kind of messing with me. <laughs> uh yeah. The color, right? Color needs to be white. And it's kind of going out of the bonds. So maybe five pixels. And butter is twenty pixels. Need to give padding. Right, padding. I don't know. Um, zero, 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 zero. Left needs to be ten pixels. No, but stop. Damn. How how can I forget every time? Ten pixels to the right. Yeah, like this. So <clears throat> it's kind of taking too much. Okay, maybe it's because of the P tag. Maybe I can use the span again. Cool. Uh, span. And. Uh, 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 uh. Are the paddings? Yeah. So three pixels. Three pixels. Yeah, that's kind of look great. And four point nine. Maybe I should give a gap as well to this text content and then span right. Text content. Section three dot text content and then. Is bad. Display flex. Maybe I have already given it. Yeah, we have it here. I can give some sort of ten pixels of gap. Right, this this looks fine. <clears throat> okay, so um, yeah, that's pretty fine. That's pretty fine. Why we have empty space over here? Okay. Is it because of the padding? Nope. Every line matters. All right, no worries at all. Just uh, let's just finish creating one card, and then we're gonna. Probably get the code. Okay, so every line matters. Um. Also, maybe I should give it six. Font weight of seven hundred as well. Okay, it's seven hundred by default. <laughs> okay, cool. So four point nine. Every client matters. Focus on uh, aerodynamics and meeting you. There's 15 sales. This 15 has to be black. Right, so. Uh, for this 15, you can give this a class of sales. And. Over here, section three. Dot text content. Dot sales. And the icon. Color needs to be black. Cool. It's not black though. It's kind of grayish. Come on. Cool, so we got it. 15 sales is also grayish. 
It has got some font weight as well. Of seven hundred again. Yeah. So maybe rather than icon, I must give it like this. Okay, not working. <laughs> Let's copy this. Sales and fifteen sales, right? Fifteen sales needed to be uh in a span as well. Right, and what I can do here is the sales. What seriously? <laughs> yeah, now it works fine. And the font weight needs to be seven hundred. Also, I need to give flex to the sales class. Right, section three dot text content and dot sales display flex align items to center not working, it already is. So I wanna keep it like this only. Okay. Okay, fifteen sales. Okay, let's check the font size well it's gonna be 16 pixels though right so font size 16 pixels what about 15 sales it's 14 pixels that's quite small though i'm gonna keep it to default right so 15 sales done this is done now comes this part pricing this is also i guess oh it has different color um this pen right and give it an idea of price section 3 text content price Okay, first paragraph needs to be um I don't know MRP right another one needs to be uh selling price right so MRP class of MRP um this color right and this has got some orange section three dot text content dot price dot sp color with this cool and also font weight the price section needs to be 700 that looks great and what else we got the learn more button right so maybe I'll stick to the button class that we used previously this one right so section one button um uh, i'm gonna copy this and paste it somewhere here so we got section three text content that's it 
cool but we also require the border to pixel solid this right and maybe I'm gonna copy this the button over here button two right so we got no button two but didn't we have this sort of button somewhere else to be used it learn more right this one this one okay let's create it by default uh by ourselves i mean so there are we here are we okay let me check, check the padding first Padding it okay. Border radius is 37 pixels. 37 pixels is the border, and uh, I mean the border radius. Padding is 10 pixels and 20 pixels. That's all, I guess. Yeah, that looks cool. And the icon this font size. Needs to be and I'll keep it to 16 pixels. Not inline though. Not gonna use inline for this. Um section three dot text content. Then we have uh button then we have the icon so font size is gonna be 16 pixels yeah it worked cool then that's all I guess guys right kinda looking good now we can okay one more thing is left the flex part right so uh, where were we? Where were we? We were at the text content, right? This div. Okay. Um. So in this class of text content, section three dot text content. I'm gonna create a border of two pixels solid red and what I'm gonna do here is <laughs> guys this is kinda this kinda gonna rough gonna go rough um let me just cut this down I'm gonna use one more diff why have I used one more div here? Because I'm gonna give flex to this text content. Right, so if I have not used the another div for it, so everything's gonna be just come in a row. Right, so that's not what we want. We want all everything needs to be uh we want everything to be in column, right? So we presented everything in a div. In a new div here we can give display flex what seriously wait a minute so text content is uh... come on man Why is it happening? Oh, uh, maybe I've used section three. Section three. Dot text content. Okay, I've used this one time. Um. 
split flexes. Okay, yeah, it's fine, it's fine because we have we haven't replicated this uh code to other elements as well, right? So that's why it's kind of looking rough. Okay, now display flex and I'm gonna I'm gonna give just right on in center, and that's all. That's all we needed, right? Also, what I'm gonna do here is I want to reduce the margins, right? So it's kind of occupying so much of space. For that, what I can do here is maybe I can reduce the height to seventy percent. Would it work? 20% not working guys seriously not working or what I can do here is um, export instruction after this uh, export instruction it's kind of taking the what if I call margin to zero or margin top to zero or minus 10 pixels 50 pixels yeah no 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 not here not here not here export instruction is fine but you know this is kinda making uh, what if I remove this? Yeah. Um. Why is it? Um. It's kind of taking extra spaces now. It's kind of occupying. Uh. Is it occupying margins? 22 pixels. I don't know why is it occupying margins. H5. Here's H5. Maybe H5 by default takes the margin. H5. What if I... Call it a paragraph. Mm. Nope. Let's do one thing, let's give it a style and margin. Let's keep the margin zero. Right, now it's kind of fine. Yeah. Also, let's give margin zero to... <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm going to use inline style for it because it's kind of, you know, just simple. Um, now the learn more, right? For the learn more... Here also I'm gonna keep the margin zero. Okay. Now it looks perfect. Yeah, just perfect. Right, right, right. Okay, now I can remove the border. Red. Oh, uh, where's it gone? Section 3, fix something here. Let's remove the border, and there we go. That's all I guess I get.
that's all I guess guys um 4.9 got the star rating now I can replicate the code okay so text content this one let me just copy this down and let me just paste it over here and then over here and at last over here <coughs> Uh, what did I miss something? What exactly happened over here? like this and uh, okay 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 <coughs> just a sec guys just a sec uh, margin zero right so it was it's like this it's fine now only the text content we need right not the, not the whole images so I'm gonna copy this paste it on the text content text content again and the text content again over here cool let me just save it there we go there we go it looks perfect now so also guys i'm not gonna change the headings and you know paragraphs for each card this is something you guys can handle right uh okay got it learn more button looks fine there we go there we go Need to give some sort of uh, margin below this uh, this paragraph, this one, and above this courses, right? Also, also, we didn't, you know, give the styling to this. Let's give the styling to the uh, part one as well. So part one over here, section three. Hashtag part one. What do we have here? Um, <clears throat> part one is at six, right? At six, colors gonna be this, and the font weight has to be seven hundred. It's by default seven hundred. No, no, no. Not by default 700. But let's do one thing, guys. Let's keep it to H5. H6 is kind of small, very small, tiny. Yeah, courses looks fine. Video and live section problems trying to resolve. This is the colored code for the paragraph hashtag part one. And B tag. Oops. Color is kind of exactly the same. You know, because maybe I've used some global paragraph styling over here, right? So that's all, I guess. And maybe I can give margins below on the section. Or maybe margin top after the section three part two. Margin top, let's give it hundred pixels. Right, hundred pixels over here, and hundred pixels above part one as well. Maybe 200 pixels. Yeah. 200 kind of looks. No, no, no. Maybe need to give more. 400 pixels. Okay, let's convert this 100 pixels to 400 pixels everywhere. Um. Uh, 
Where else have I given? Uh, hero section part 2 image, pg2, pg2 wrapper, hero section maybe in section 1 I've given margin top 400 pixels yeah need to get 400 pixels over here right cool 400 pixels approval, approvable packages 400 pixels 400 pixels cool this looks fine one section at a time. Okay, covers this video in live sec, uh, live action, yeah. And um, that's all I guess, guys. This looks perfect. And uh, yeah, one more thing I could give here is the footer. Can give the margin top to four hundred pixels again, right? And maybe bottom to zero. We also have the copyright there, right? Copyright to. Margin top, gun pixels, cool. It kind of occupying padding. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, okay, let's keep it that way. Right. This looks fine. This looks fine. So, of course, there's video in live action. We got the cards. So let's check. Let's cross check. Whether we are left with anything or not. Export instruction. Okay, books library, lifetime access. Export instruction. This needs to be in font weight 7, I guess. <clears throat> so weight 6, right? Font weight 7 and weight. Nothing happened, I guess. Yeah, no difference. Anyway, we'll keep it this way only. Okay, guys, I guess uh, that's pretty much it for today's video. Right, later we're gonna uh, complete this testimonials and the newsletter. Right, alright guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next upcoming videos. Peace out.